The streets of Aden have become a battleground. And those who call this port city home are watching it all play out. With the center of the city smoldering, those loyal to President Abed Rabu Mansour Hadi were struggling to cope. We are the southern youth resistance in Aden and we are confronting the Houthis. We urge the coalition to parachute troops on the ground because the strikes from the air and sea won't be enough. There must be forces on the ground. The people here are under bombardment. There are deaths and families remain under siege. We can't get to them. On Friday, the call for help was met, not with more ground troops, but with supplies. The Saudi-led coalition parachuting in weapons and ammunition, a morale boost for Hadi supporters besieged by Houthi fighters. <laughs> We thank the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and all the Gulf countries, as well as our brothers in Arab countries, for dropping supplies. We will be victorious and bravely carry on fighting as heroes. Taking off from a military base in southern Saudi Arabia, coalition forces continue to bomb Houthi fighters and their allies. A number of airstrikes forcing the rebels and forces loyal to Ali Abdullah Saleh to leave the presidential palace just 24 hours after they captured it. Forces loyal to President Hadi may be increasingly well equipped, but those loyal to former President Saleh remain strong too. And as the number of dead continues to grow, the battle for Aden and for all of Yemen could be a long one. Here at the medical compound, there was an airstrike led by the Houthis targeting some of our brothers. We went to save them and the traitor Houthis attacked us too. There are only injured people here. Why are they bombing us? These people are not Muslims. Along the coast in Mukalla, fighters thought to be with Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula now control most of the city. After storming a jail on Thursday, they've also taken control of the port and a military base. As the Saudi-led coalition tries to stop Houthi advances, Al-Qaeda is taking ground too, sinking Yemen further into chaos. Kim Vanell, Al Jazeera.